The sun moves across the sky from day to night. Wait, what? Even though hearing someone say something like this sounds normal, you've studied the solar system. What information do you know a scientist that could prove this statement to be incorrect? Does the sun move? The sun is the largest mass in our solar system. Therefore, it has the most gravity. The sun has pulled our planets and asteroids into its gravitational pull. And because of that, the sun is the center of our solar system. And all the other objects are in orbit around the sun. So back to where we started. Does the sun move across the sky from day to night? As you might have already learned in fourth grade, you may be thinking, no, of course the sun isn't moving. We are, and you are correct. That motion of the sun moving across the sky is called apparent motion. Are you taking notes? You might want to write this down. It's kind of important. Apparent motion is the illusion of something not moving to look like it is moving. The sun isn't the only thing in the sky that has apparent motion. Can you think of a few others? Go ahead, think about them. I'll wait. Write them down, or perhaps your teacher may even want to pause this video and hear what fantastic ideas you have. Perhaps one of your great minds is thinking the same as mine. Hmm, yes, I'm sure of it. A few of you and I have thought of the same thing. Stars. Today, I would like to talk to you about stars and the apparent motion of stars in the night sky. As you know, the sky is filled with clusters of stars that we call constellations. What is a constellation exactly? A constellation is a group of stars that form a pattern of a mythological figure. Recognizing the patterns in the sky also help us identify the same stars over and over again as we look up into the night. One group of stars that you may easily spot in the night sky is the Big Dipper, which is part of the constellation Ursa Major. Have you ever noticed that the Big Dipper isn't always in the same spot in the night sky? Why is that? Well, think about what you know about the sun and apparent motion. Seriously, take a moment and think about why are stars not always in the same spot in the sky. Pause the video if you need to. As the Earth rotates on its axis and revolves around the sun, what happens to the constellations in the sky? Well, nothing happens to the constellations at all. They stay where they've been for millions of years. It's just that as we spin and orbit the Earth, our view of the stars in space change. So back to the topic of the Big Dipper. For those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, we can see the Big Dipper at all times. And in fact, the Big Dipper helps stargazers locate Polaris, the North Star. The thing is, as Earth continues to spin to bring us from day to night, our view of where the Big Dipper is in the sky also appears to spin. The apparent motion of the Big Dipper moves in a complete circle around Polaris over the course of approximately 24 hours. The cool thing about this is, the next time you're spending a lot of time under the night sky, look for the Big Dipper first thing and take note of where it is. Then a few hours later, look again. No notice how it looked like it moved? But did it really? No, of course not. It's just apparent motion. We are on Earth. We're the ones who moved, which is why the Big Dipper is now found in a different spot in our night sky. So, as a recap, apparent motion is the illusion of something moving when it really isn't. Stars, just like the sun, are not moving around us in a circle, but in fact, Earth is doing the moving, giving us the illusion that everything around us is.